Hi guys, we're back with sessions 34 and today we're going to talk about blood transfusion, indications for blood transfusion, following your institution's policies and procedures, and possible reactions. Now, have you ever stopped to consider some of the reasons that patients are given a blood transfusion? Well, what about the trauma patient who has lost a lot of blood, is hypovolemic and needs to have uh, blood replacement? I know sometimes they start out with replacing fluids, but later on such patients may need a blood transfusion. Then we have got patients who have femur fracture perhaps. They may lose a lot of blood internally leading to hypovolemic shock. Iron deficiency anemia, aplastic anemia, thrombocytopenia and other blood disorders. Even internal bleeding from trauma may be indication for a blood transfusion. Let's talk about when that order is given and the blood is hung. Well here's Sierra, did she use good judgment? She hung blood but here's the problem, she never took the trouble to check the blood with another licensed nurse. In other words, she did not follow her institution's policies and procedures. So she hung the blood. Guess what? The patient develops a reaction. <clears throat> Here is a patient saying to her nurse, I feel awful. He's having a transfusion reaction. Even then, what is she saying to him? She just hung the blood. This patient is now having chills. So if you hang blood, it is very important that you pay attention to your institution's policies and procedures. There are very many, every institution has its own policy in place. Make sure you familiarize yourself with what is needed. You check, did you check the doctor's orders? Here are some of the considerations. Did you check the doctor's orders? Did you check the patient's ID? Did you check the blood with another licensed person? Did you follow the institution's policy? Did you check the patient's history for compatibility, previous transfusions or reaction? Did you do any patient education? In other words, did you make that patient aware that if he is having chills and fevers, this might possibly be due to a reaction to call at once. Don't just walk away and say, I hung your blood, I just hung your blood. In fact, you the nurse should be very, very watchful when you first hang that unit of blood, always to pay attention for things like chills, anxiety, flushing in that patient, itching, shortness of breath, chest pains. These are obviously signs of a reaction. Now, you also should familiarize yourself with blood tubing when you hang blood because normally what happens, you have that Y tubing where blood goes on the one side and normal saline goes on the other. So in case there's a reaction when you shut that blood off, typically what happens, you can flush through with saline. Of course, always follow your institution's policies and procedures. And of course, you never throw away that blood tubing. If a patient has a reaction, make sure you save that tubing and the blood for lab evaluation. And you need to notify whoever else, like the doctor, your charge nurse, the lab, that something has gone wrong. Now here are some helpful hints if your patient is having a reaction. Don't just walk away, you assess that patient, get help, stop the blood at once, infuse normal saline to flush that system through and dilute whatever is there, check vital signs, oxygen saturation and lung sounds in case that patient is starting to have a lot of congestion in the lungs due to that transfusion. You document your assessment and your interventions. You need to let the doctor know, of course, you always follow your institution's policies and procedures to be dead certain that you've done everything the right way. And of course, like I mentioned, you save the blood tubing. But above all, a blood transfusion reaction for the most part can be prevented if you take the time and effort to do things the correct way. Of course, there's always that possibility that even when things are done correctly, that patient does develop a reaction. But the important thing is to act fast. Do not ignore it. Do not say, I did everything according to protocol. You need to take quick action because the consequences of blood transfusion reaction can be fatal. Remember, when blood is poured into the system, it goes directly into the central circulation. 
So I hope you've learned something from this. Have a great day.